Before I start today's video, I just want to clarify that what the heck is up with my cat making love to this stupid gorilla? <laughs> He did this last video. Okay, so you guys use dating apps, right? Don't lie. It's okay, we've all used them before. Are you guys familiar with the app Plenty of Fish? Plenty of Fish was like the original Tinder, but it has a lot more issues and it's also very old. It's been around for about 20 years. It originally started off like a website and it developed into an app and then therefore we had both. It's amazing that an app like Plenty of Fish would survive for 20 years, but shit. There's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on within the app that a lot of us don't know of or we may have heard. And oh my god, it is not fun. We are often told that we should be careful whenever it comes to dating apps because you don't, we don't really know who we're talking to on the internet. We don't know if it's actually your sister. We don't know if it's actually the girl you're talking to. Or hell, it could be a scammer from all the way from India and we don't even know. But thankfully, it's pretty obvious. But plenty of fish, man. <laughs> they have some of the worst obvious fake profiles I've ever seen. And today, I'm going to show you and showcase some of the profiles I have come across on the app Plenty of Fish. And why you should stay away from it. So there was one day I was like, damn, man. My life's pathetic. I'm desperate. Let's go download Plenty of Fish and see if I can match with anyone. And I was disappointed. At first, I was kind of excited, but... There was a couple messages here and there I did get, but I didn't match with them on the dating app. You can actually message anyone that you think is attractive or pretty. But most of these girls that were interested, I, they weren't even my type, but that's okay. I was nice enough and so I wasn't interested. But there are some of them that you can instantly match with you in like seconds because they're obviously fake and... And I had a dude um, try to message me and it was pretty funny and uh, I'm going to show you the profile and what happened. Just to clarify you guys, I actually forgot to mention that I accidentally did delete the Plenty of Fish app in my profile before I made this video. But I do have a funny text message conversation with a bot and a fun and some funny screenshots. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. All right, so on the very first profile that looked very obviously fake was, uh, it was a girl named XXX Pretty without an E, XXX. And the, the description says, looking for me, I'm in Sefner. And uh, her interactions was entertainer in some college. And the picture is like a role model. And with a lot of these pictures, especially if they're like blurry or they're way too good looking to be true to match with someone like you, uh, <laughs> therefore, uh, they could be instantly fake. And a lot of these profiles tend to send you fake virus links. And uh, oh, there's some that will actually try to get money out of you. And it's absolutely hilarious. Okay, here's another one I matched with that was obviously fake. It says, Cherry Laplaps 21s uh, has absolutely no profile picture. Hit me up on my kick. Uh, cherry underscore Osis 11. Well, with a lot of these dating apps um, on the on the description, uh, what they do is a lot of these dating apps also, if they try to get you like to add you on Instagram, kick, or even Snapchat, most of the time, a lot of these could be scammers or bots because most of these people don't want to give out their information like that unless maybe the Instagram if they have a lot of followers. But most of them are just posting their Instagram for either uh, to get more clout on their followers or, um, like I said, a fake account. But it's obviously fake, too, if they're like looking for like a hookup in the description because let's be honest, most people don't want to hook up on the description and be that direct to random people. Oh, here's a favorite one I like to read. Ear Tack 65. Make a relationship. All caps. 21 lives in <laughs> Crossroads. I'm 5'6. And then that's all they have in their profile. Yeah, some of these, uh, if they go old caps, it's like, make a relationship, or I want a date, or be my boyfriend like <laughs> something that makes absolutely no sense or if they're talking in third person that's a red flag and stay away guys stay away stay one day from these fake profiles makes the scammers go away <laughs> now for this one you gotta be just borderline desperate and retarded to fall for this one it says sweet carolyn 
into hookups. Exactly, you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> and I am 19 years old. I'm from Tampa. I'm 5'2 and 157 centimeters. <laughs> like that matters and uh see if you look uh the pictures on on the dating app are actually pretty blurry like if you can see pixels that's another red flag because come on it's 2020 you think anyone would have like really blurry ass pictures when they have like an iphone in their hand or something <laughs> it's it's kind of stupid unless you know they have a really crappy flip phone or they have like you know an ordinary uh budget smartphone because i'm too poor to buy a like thousand dollar smartphone so i just settled with these a hundred dollar smartphones and actually they work pretty well but even these are not blurry at all here's another good example um this girl ash 0561 looking for my guy kick me at ashley z x z 003 she's from brooksville she's 23 years old and 56 and she's a cashier <laughs> <laughs> who, the, who puts in their description what ordinary person would put in their description looking for my guy that's that's just <laughs> it's cheesy and obviously it's not an actual girl i can't imagine like you just you meet some girl at a bar or something you're like oh what do you got looking to and for a guy and then she'd be like looking for my guy kick me <laughs> and it's like okay you gotta stay away run away of course you know the stereotypical indian scammers Looking for my guy. Oh shit, I can't, I can't do the accent. I'm not even gonna try that. I am looking for my guy. Kick me at this. Yes, I finally got it. <laughs> I did have another screenshot of the same profile. If you look at this one, see this picture is a lot more clear than the next one, right? And uh, what the fuck are you guys trying to do with this consistency? Like, come on, man. If you're gonna get someone and scam someone, at least have consistent pictures. Okay, this one's just kind of funny. This might be your real profile, but I just think it's hilarious. Kush, Oh, Kush Queen 2020 meshes me for snap. Good deal. She's from Springfield. She's 5'5 five five and viewer interaction. She works in retail. <laughs> I like how on the picture she has like that evil devil emoji. That's hilarious. See, there's also people on here that'll tend to sell their Snapchat premium for clout and of course money because I don't want to make money on the internet. Like you really think people want to make money by working for some shitty ma manager? Nah. And uh, it's it's so funny because a lot of these uh, people, how they'll actually lie sometimes to some of these actual real people where they'll send you links saying, oh, there's no credit card required, but it wants your credit card information anyways. And of course, that's also like a virus link. And uh, you just can't trust people on these things. Uh, it's hilarious, though. It's a, it's a gold mine for cringe content. Here's the next one, more of the same. Hi, well, I'm Kayla San. Is that how you say it? Kayla San? Uh, add my snap at kaylazan.zz and in her photo, add my premium snap at kaylazan.zz. And uh, of course, with her picture, uh, it's like a pixelated, uh, kind of too good to be true type picture. And uh, this one could be fake. I'm not fully sure, but it could be fake. And uh, I guess lives in Tampa area and uh, is a server apparently. And I swear with these with these Snapchat premium deals uh, with these good ass deals, they better give me some buy one get one free, or better send me some fifty percent off coupons because this is some bullshit for pay full price for the service. Okay, I'm not sure if this one's a real person, but it does have a first and last name, so I'm not gonna really say much of it. Um, but her, her 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 bio says, "Hi, want to hang out, have some fun." It's like. Okay, <laughs> no one's not that direct, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, with people like this, of course, um, being direct is cool, but it doesn't start with the bio, and most of these scammers and people don't be that direct with the bio, but I'm not sure if this is an actual uh, person or not, so I'm just going to blur the name. And what's funny about all these dating apps is sometimes it's not even the dating apps that get uh, contacted you with these weird stuff. One time, out of nowhere, I've had someone contact me on my phone number by texting me. And it was the most suspicious and most obviously funny experience I've had in my life. And I'll show you the messages because I did some obvious trolling and it was pretty funny. Okay, some random number texted me. This is where it started all fast. It goes... Hi, I hope you are the guy named Blah. Am I correct? It's me, Sadie from Tender. We traded umbers earlier. <laughs> Obviously, oh, look at that grammar. That's just horrible. <laughs> 
<laughs> fucking nasty, dude. Obviously, this isn't a real person. And I was playing along, I go, yeah, I'm the guy who wanted to go get Texas pronouns. <laughs> the dude probably doesn't know what Texas pronouns is. And he's like, what or why, question mark, question mark, P2, which is, what are you up to? But I could barely make out what he's saying. It's like the dude's drunk or something, but it's not. And I go, do you ever just sit on a toilet and eat shit? I do. And this is how I knew exactly that it was fake. I say, and she goes, oh, I'm just kind of relaxing, laying here, heh <laughs> heh, tut totally in the mood to meet tonight how about you like no one starts off like that and i go i'm smelling my blood crack and then she sends a new katie pick good so we can hook up soon hopefully just need to be for real i'm not needing a relationships just needing a fuck buddy ha that is it I was just like dead because they're, they they were just replying like out of nowhere just desperate and i go are you into scat? I'll only do it if you do scat. If this were a real person, they would stop messaging and try to get like any money from me. But no, this bot is just kept going. What's funny behind all this is I actually got another n nude, but it was actually from another girl, but with the same number. I'm like, can you try any harder, dude? This dude or scammer or bot or whatever obviously has no freaking game whatsoever when it comes to getting these people like most of these desperate guys off these phones usually fall for the stuff pretty easily you figure just have a little bit of consistency it'd be easier like even most guys would probably bypass the shady text messages uh the shady grammar but it's whatever i guess and then i get another message that says i'm eager to hook up shortly as long as you're not a stalker i can also host too my roommate would be gone this week and so here's so so homie here's a pic and then i was like okay can you write my name on paper to confirm you're real and uh i get a reply say like oh wow i cannot hold on much long much more let's do this limb just by myself right meow <laughs> so it's perfect all you have to do is complete the age check to make sure you're not a child and then then let out my address and what i did was i actually didn't go on the link because it's obviously fake virus link and i go okay done and then she sends another pic and then i go it costs nothing and really makes me more safe i don't want to be on some cbs show like to catch a predator or something a little yeah because the catch a predator's on cbs as i just want your thing inside me now let's just do this come on Come on, you have my number, I'm ready. I'm not, and I go, okay, done. And then <laughs> they go, yes, as soon as you're finished, uh, my Addy is right here. And then sends the link again. I go, okay, done. And it goes, I understand, BB, but I can't just make any exception on with my personal state. It's nothing that. I said, I already completed it, though. And I go, takes me back when you're done, I am. I go, I already did it, BB. And then never replied. Never replied, but... It was the funniest and weirdest experience, but yeah, I stopped, uh, and that's when you just delete all dating apps or whatever someone gets your number from, just, it's not even worth it. Well, that concludes for today's video. What'd you guys think of the whole Plenty of Fish and dating app experience I've had? Did you have something similar? If you had a similar experience like I did, make sure to put the comments down below. I'd love to hear more about these stories. And also, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, make sure to leave a like if you liked the video. If you really enjoyed it, make sure to hit subscribe and turn post notifications on if you really want to follow my stuff. And as well, um, I do have a Patreon. Um, I am currently working on it. I am about to do a few changes on the deals and the patreon stuff so uh what you can do is just donate uh if you want like a dollar or something i don't care honestly but it's whatever you don't have to but at least check it out it's kind of cool i guess and um yeah and also of course the social media twitter and facebook and all that's in the description and i'll see you guys in the next video also a lot of you guys are wondering what my face is really rest because i went to a super bowl party and my team was actually in it so i was super happy and we won and Go Chiefs! See you later, everybody.